Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dolakya, is going to explain you electric field intensity due to conducting sphere. So here we are dealing with to calculate electric field intensity due to conducting sphere. So let us have first of all one conducting sphere. So I'm just drawing it. See, we have one conducting sphere over here. And let us say this conducting sphere that is having radius capital R. Now see on this conducting sphere, first of all, we will be depositing charge Q. So let us deposit charge Q on this and let us consider this charge Q is positive. So positive charge that you can see I have deposited on this conducting sphere. And see this conducting sphere, right? So that is hollow conducting sphere. Remember this, this conducting sphere that is hollow conducting sphere. So this charge that will get distributed over this as a surface charge density, right? Now here we are dealing with to calculate electric field. So for a calculation of electric field, we will be going to consider three different cases over here. So let us have mention of that. One is for small radius r that should be greater than r. Second is for r that is equals to capital R means on the surface and third case that is r less than r means inside the sphere right so let us consider first case so first case is r is greater than r now see for r that is greater than r you will be having let us say this is what r and that is greater than r so for this we need to have a sphere first so I'm just drawing this now see for this sphere we are dealing with to calculate electric field so if you apply Gauss law over here so as per Gauss's law we can say electric flux that is equals to enclosed surface electric field integration that is equals to Q by epsilon 0. Now you see if I consider a surface over here right then this surface direction let us say this is small differential surface then that surface direction that will be in this direction and if you identify the direction of electric field so that direction of electric field with respect to center that is even in the same direction right so here we can say electric field and surface both are parallel to each other means theta is equals to zero so as electric field and surface both are parallel to each other we can say this will be electric field into surface area and surface area of this outer sphere that is 4 pi r square and that is equals to q divided by epsilon 0. So based on that we can say electric field over here that is E is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q divided by r square and if you want to calculate direction then direction will be in the direction of unit vector r. Now let us have second case so it will be more clear. Now see for second case I am going to consider small r is equals to capital R. So let us have second case. Now see in second case even if we apply Gauss's law then as per Gauss's law C 
see this surface is actually r is equals to capital r now so as per gauss's law over here we can say eds e dot ds that is q by epsilon 0 now here even surface area and electric field that is parallel to each other so we can say theta is equals to 0 and as per that here this surface integration that is e into surface area of the sphere that is 4 pi capital R square is equals to Q by epsilon naught. So as per this electric field will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by capital R square. Right. Now see as per Gauss's law what we need to understand we need to see how much charge is enclosed by surface. So, so see for R small r is greater than capital R this charge that is enclosed by this bigger surface and on the surface even this charge is enclosed by surface so we are writing q by epsilon 0. Now we will consider third case and for third case for third case case number 3 small r is less than r right. So what it means we are having small r like this which is less than this capital R. So over here if you apply Gauss's law then there is no charge which is enclosed by this small r radius surface for this case 3 where r is less than capital R. So as per Gauss's law we can say the surface integration of e dot ds that is equals to q by epsilon 0 and that is equals to 0. So it means electric field over here that has to be even 0. So inside the surface electric field will be 0 right. On the surface electric field that will be 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into q by capital R square and outside the sphere electric field will be 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q by small r square. So let us try to summarize that by electric field with respect to distance. So here we have electric field, here we have distance, here distance is 0, let us say here distance is capital R and then distance is increasing. Now see for this case distance is less than capital R. So for distance less than capital R you will be finding electric field is 0. So we can say electric field is 0 over here. Right. For a case where R is equals to capital R electric field that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q by R square. So we can say electric field over here that is this and let me mention it it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q divided by r square and for elect for a distance greater than capital r electric field is decreasing with respect to 1 by r square right so we need to mention that over here see if you increase distance greater than capital R in that case electric field that will decrease by 1 by R square proportion. So here electric field that is proportional to 1 by R square means as if distance is increasing then capital R then that electric field will decrease. So highest electric field that is happening at this instant. Right. So here see by using Gauss's law we can calculate electric field due to conducting sphere with different cases. So let us have a quick recap of this. See here we have a conducting sphere on which we are depositing charge Q and we are calculating electric field for three cases R greater than R, R equals to R and R less than R. For case 1 R greater than R 
see direction of electric field and surface both are same so this surface integration that is e into 4 pi r square is equals to q by epsilon 0 so we can say electric field that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square right for distance small r is equals to capital r means we are calculating electric field on the surface of this conducting sphere charge enclosed will be q by epsilon 0 as per Gauss's law and flux will be e ds where electric field and surface both are parallel to each other so this surface integration of electric field that is e into 4 pi capital r square so electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square right and inside there is no charge enclosed by that surface you can see so electric field inside will be zero so you'll be finding electric field is maximum on the surface which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square inside it will be zero and outside it will decrease with respect to 1 by r square and its formula is similar identical as with respect to formula of electric field which is there with point charge so this is what we need to focus about when we solve example due to conducting sphere right so when you solve example for electric field due to conducting sphere then these are the points that you should take care of i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions your suggestions are most welcome to me and based on your suggestions only in future i'll make videos which will solve all queries which is required to be solved over here thank you so much for watching this video